What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London and day two of the Geneva Motor Show. Hopefully you enjoyed yesterday's video where I showed you some of the craziest cars that some of the best manufacturers have launched here today. However, what I want to do today is go around and try and find the cars that I would actually buy. So the stuff that I love the look of, because you can't drive them here or test drive them, I'm purely going to focus it on the aesthetics. I think there are better YouTube channels that go into the stats and the details of all of the different technical stuff to do with these cars behind me. So let's just go and have a look at some of the best looking cars that I think I would buy. We immediately come to the brand new Abarth, which is behind me. I think this looks absolutely insane. And for the, for the road trips with the roof down. And then behind me we've got some rally spec, which looks ridiculous. Oh. I didn't see this one. So I can't really believe that the first stand, a bath, has got a car that I would buy. The 124 Spider, and we've got all of the technical details here, which I said I wasn't going to show you. Um, so yeah, that's it. But as cars go, I think it's better looking than the Mazda MX-5. Okay, so quite typically, I am now found myself on the Ford stand with Mustang behind me, the new Fiesta ST200 and also the Focus RS. Now these all three cars are cars that I would love to own. The V8 on the Mustang is incredible, wicked little car. We drove that down to Monaco for the F1 uh, but not the 200 version so I really want to drive that and I also want to drive the RS that Ken Block is just raving about. Got a drift button, let's go and check it out because it looks incredible in the baby blue too. So we find ourselves on the Aston Martin stand and we were here for the unveiling yesterday but I got an awful view and now for the first time I get to see it in the flesh up close and personal. Yes? We have to sit from the back to make up our minds. Yeah, let's go and have a look at it from the back. Ooh, ooh, I think it looks good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Wow. Don't have. <laughs> okay, so we, we now find ourselves on the Mercedes stand. We're going to head over to two cars in particular. Of course, the AMG GTS but the new C63 AMG Coupe S. Um, so here we go, here's the first one. Everyone knows I love this car, both to drive and to look at. Um, there's so many tuning options on the AMG GTS in this show, so I'll show you them in a bit. And then this is the other one, super aggressive AMG C63 S Coupe. So I think the only thing that is turning me off a little bit of the C63 Coupe is the size of the rear wheels. I kind of think it's a little bit too small for the body. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so now we are at the BMW M2, which is a compact hot hatch saloon, which Sam likes more than I like. I'm not sure it's aggressive enough for the M range. I like the front bumper, but apart from that, I don't know. Sam, you like the M2. Is that to try and build back your relationship with BMW fans for your <laughs> M4 review? <laughs> I actually think this one's quite cool now. Yeah? You yeah. like this one? I think this is cool. Garish paint. <laughs> Just looks more racy. It's got a carbon boot lid. Back last summer, I was lent a stunning brown slash gold slash bronze Smart 4.2. So everyone knows that I absolutely love these cars because they turn on the spot 
have got little power but are epic city cars. And then this one appears. Baby blue with the sport Brabus wheels. I think this is one of the best looking cars at this motor show. So we've actually found a car that moves at the motor show. Sam's in a passenger seat and Hello. Tim and Mark are basically showing me around some of the uh, features of this oh. car. Yeah. <laughs> so there's, there's a steering wheel. Oh, okay, right. So this, is, this is the steering wheel. You turn it to turn the car. Wow, okay. this is revolutionary. Down there you've got these pedals. One's well, the accelerator. One's which the one? Brake. Which one's the accelerator? Whichever one you want it to be. It's not going to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to out and out, Hoonage, an American muscle. I'm not sure anything beats this car. This is absolutely crazy. I'm actually a pretty big Dodge Viper fan and in Dubai saw the latest version of the Dodge Viper. Not the ACR, but it was still a wicked sounding thing. Um, this with a huge spoiler just tops it off and I can imagine around a racetrack this thing is one of the best things ever. There are some really wacky things here. The Toyota Kikai. Okay, so we are now on the Honda stand with the new NSX, which I actually, well, I'm off balance completely. Anyway, the new NSX is stunning. Beautiful in that deep red, which kind of replicates the true blood that I had on my Lambo. And you're about to see a lot more of on YouTube as well. Sam actually wants to buy that car. I've heard some figures are gonna be around 130,000 pounds. No idea whether that's confirmed or not. And apparently it's gonna be really limited as well. So um, I definitely wanna see that car on the road. One of the criteria for my new car is that it has to have a wicked sound system that it has iPhone connectivity, Bluetooth connectivity. And Volkswagen have bought out a car that has Beats in it. It is called the Polo Beats. And they've got two here. Oh, they've got the Up Beats as well. I think Volkswagen have actually just collaborated with Beats. But there's one. And here's one. Anyway, this is the new Gumbert, Gumpert, Gumpert, Gumbert, Gumbel, Gumpert Apollo Arrow. And I have to say, from the picture that I saw on Instagram, I wasn't too fussed about it, but now seeing it in the flesh, this thing is insane. On the road, that thing's gonna have so much road presence. What do you make of it, James? Well, I think it's only called Apollo now. I think they dropped the Gumpert. Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't read Good signs. Demand, yeah. We are now in the back corner of the Geneva Motor Show at Chevrolet. So since announcing that my Lamborghini was gonna be for sale and gonna be replaced, I sort of really had generic replacements, AMG GTS, McLaren 570S, 458. However, a car that I haven't mentioned that I would love to drive, get behind the wheel of, and potentially own, even though it's left-hand drive, is the new Chevrolet Corvette Z06 which looks absolutely stunning. They've also got the new Camaro here on the stand as well. Let's go and have a look at the new Z06 Grand Sport, which has been unveiled at this show. Really, really beautiful, dark gray with blue. The interior is fantastic. Um, so yeah, let's turn the camera around and check out some of the cars on the Chevrolet stand. So this car has got 30 more brake horsepower than the original Corvette 
Z06 and I have to say it is just absolutely stunning every angle this car looks incredible in and I can't show you the interior but my video yesterday actually showed you the interior so um, I'm gonna walk off the Chevrolet stand I'm quite a big fan of the Lodgy stepway and also the Docker stepway and the Dacia stand and uh, we've got the Dacia Duster here nice in blue I think um, Maybe, maybe Tim should get one of them. So that is the end of day two, the second press day here at the Geneva Motor Show. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video, a little insight into some of the, well, maybe not quirky, but more obtainable cars that are here, unlike the Chiron, the Paganis, the Koenigseggs, um, and also an insight into what I'm actually thinking about replacing the Lamborghini with, which is very exciting. We're gonna be hitting a flight about 24 hours from now back to London where I pick up a McLaren 570S, so I'm gonna have a really wicked time actually with that car, so I'm looking forward to driving that, getting behind the wheel of a McLaren for the first time. With that being said, thank you for watching. Please give it a thumbs up if you haven't already and click subscribe as well. And I look forward to seeing you, if not tomorrow, the next day for when I pick up a McLaren 570S from McLaren London. Cheers, guys.